Well, hello, Pisces, and welcome to your Mercury Retrograde reading. I am so sorry for being late. I know you've been waiting for this video. Some of you guys have texted me. It's just that uh, Mercury Retrograde seemed to come really early for me, and I was up in my fields for like three days, and I was not in a space to be doing any readings for anyone because when I do a reading, I have to be able to separate myself from the energy so that I can get a really good reading. Um, and, oops, that was for the other sign. And so, uh, I just really thank you so much for waiting for me to uh, go through the things that I needed to go through so that I could be here for you. All right, so we are looking at Mercury Retrograde. Look on the screen right here. Here is the calendar. Uh, the way that it works is we were in the blue period, which is a shadow period for a while now, for about two weeks or so. And now we are hitting the red and that red means that it's ready to go and it's going to turn around and go retrograde. It's very strong when it does that. And then uh, we'll be in the retrograde when it hits the pink. The darker the colors, the stronger the energy. The brown is when we're in post-shadow period. It starts to get lighter and lighter as we get to March. Okay? It is in the sign of Aquarius. We're going to talk about how the Aquarius sign will affect you and what house is going to be highlighted for you. So we're gonna look in the sun, wind, and rising signs of the Pisces Collective. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everyone. Remember, the energies can be reversed, so assign the roles you please. If the reading does not resonate with you, stick around because there may be something you need to hear. These messages are timeless. You're brought to this channel. It's reading, there's something in it for you. If it doesn't resonate with you, then check out your sun, wind, and rising signs or get a personal reading. My information is in the description box down below. If you're wanting to know about the Jupiter and Pisces reading, that is a transit that is very, very substantial for all of us, and we're all in that reading. Uh, and it goes all the way until May 10th, I think. So you definitely want to check out that. It's on the screen above me at the link. And I always have suggested videos at the end. If you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. This way you get notified as soon as I post something new. All right, guys, I want to thank the people who've already subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new here, thank you for coming and checking out my channel. And if you have not subscribed yet and you'd like to, then please hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Okay. All right, first of all, Pisces. Um, Jupiter is in Pisces, so we have love, luck, and money all through your sign, all the way until May 10th. Uh, and we have lots of other wonderful things happening. I want to talk about Mercury in Aquarius tonight. Mercury is about communication. Whenever we have a Mercury in retrograde, then the past comes back. So the past comes knocking. Hi! Um, past people, past events, past feelings, uh, anything that needs to be re-examined or re-looked at or re-evaluated or reconciled or something like that, it comes back. Um, so don't be surprised if somebody from your past comes back. It's not a surprise. It's like, okay, this is to be healed. This is what we're supposed to do, okay? Uh, in Aquarius is a very intuitive sign, so it's going to feel very intuitive this entire time. And it's what people see you, like how people see you, how you see yourself, how you portray yourself to other people. And Pisces, this is in your second house. So this is going to be dealing with your assets, your finances, and the things that you value, all right? All right, Pisces, are you ready? Oh, let me pull a theme first. You might want to check out the Aquarius reading that I just did. It was pretty powerful. I kind of wish I would have done that first because I really think everybody should look at that reading um, because it's we're all dealing with that same energy. It's very interesting. Yes, it's in the aspect of... Um, Aquarius, and right now we're looking at the Mercury retrograde in Aquarius in the angle of Pisces. Pisces, we're working on trust and we're working on perseverance. Ooh, ooh those are big ones, right? Okay, I'm going to do six cards and let's get started. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for waiting for me. Oof. That's all I got to say. Is uh, I don't cry a lot. Uh, I cried for the past couple of days. And uh, oof, it, was, it was pretty uh, intense. So I don't do readings when I'm like that. Okay, here we go. One, two... Three, 
four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, so the overall for you does not surprise me at all because you are in the soulmate cycle, so here we go. Okay, for those of you who don't want a love reading, I'm pretty sure it's going to turn into a love reading because that's what it looks like. So, um, or relationship, it doesn't have to be love, it could be a really deep friendship, it could be someone that you really love from the past. It's about some sort of love though, okay? So, lover's card. That's a card of Gemini as well. doesn't have to be a Gemini coming in your life, but it could be. Uh, and this is about somebody wanting their happiness. And it's somebody that uh, portrays themselves as something different uh, than who they really are deep down in their soul or who they really are on their 5D level. Uh, but they are willing to come forward because they want their happiness. This lover, love in any way, shape, or form, however it is, wants you back in their life, okay? Um, because this is a reconciliation. The energy that you're in is lots of communication. So we have a communication on both sides. So you're communicating and somebody else is communicating and it's very equal. See how these cards are pretty equal? I mean, one is a page and one is a knight, but they're, I mean, really, what's the difference, right? I mean, the knight just has a horse, but they each have their one, their one wand, um, and uh, one is more like contemplative and the other one is more like charging forward. You know, one is, it should be this way. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. How you been? I'm, I've been fine. You know, I mean, it's like that. They're having a conversation, right? So we have um, the, the page of swords. Basically, they couldn't give me the same card is basically what I'm hearing. It's like, couldn't give me the same card. So we picked something that were very similar. So we got good news coming in, good communication. It's something you can trust. We're working on trust, right? It's about expressing yourself, reminiscing chats. I mean, nostalgia, it all. Okay, at all. <laughs> all right, so the energy that's coming towards you is somebody's taking a leap of faith to come towards you. See, he's even leaping towards these people. Uh, somebody who was very pessimistic, somebody who couldn't see happiness, somebody who thought that the world was uh, um, a dreary place, it, you know, somebody who was always looking at what was over, uh, spilled over instead of what they, you know, what they had, what they had was you. OK, and they were looking at all this other stuff and concentrating on what they didn't have. Well, the person who's found figured out that you're what they don't have, they're coming towards you. They're going to take a leap of faith. Boom. Coming towards you. The energy that you don't see uh, that is um, hidden that you don't see is. Uh, let me put these two cards together. Is this person who didn't see you as a gift? they're now planning for you to be in their future. Okay? They they they're that the yellow is happiness. They are planning for their happiness and their happiness is you. So, uh they have decided that they're going to come to you. Now, everybody has free will. I got to make sure that I say that. Let me just say that the energy is ready and there and it's read more ready than it's ever has been for this person to come forward. I really feel like this person like 90 percent of you your person's going to come forward maybe 10 percent of you guys your person's still going to use their free will to mess it up okay uh so but i really feel like something is pushing them towards you and they're ready to come like yeah you were something i didn't recognize how special you were dang i'm i i need to plan you into my life like i need to make this plan i need that person is making plans towards their happiness okay the energy that is an obstacle that is in the way is um, the Wheel of Fortune next to the mag uh, Magician. So basically, um, this person has been resistant to change. Uh, they're, they have not ever broken any cycles, really. This is kind of new to them. Um, they have had a lot of manipulation in their life. They feel like they didn't plan very well for this. Uh, and they have some un, untapped um, power. Uh, so that, I don't, let me, I'm going to look into that a little bit more. 
I, I just feel like this person, hmm, let me see. They, they feel like they've, they've, they've had bad luck since you haven't been in their life or something like that. Or they feel bad that they were so resistant to change when you came to their life. Like they were afraid to go in your direction or something. Let me, let me check this out a little bit more and make sure that I'm on the right path with that. So they were controlling. Okay, they tried to control the situation. They didn't give you their love. Um, and that is the obstacle because they, they feel like bad about that. You know what I mean? And, and now they want to come forward uh, because they realize that they were in an illusion this entire time and that they didn't have their uh, equal give and take partner. Like they see you as like they're equal. You're their equal. Maybe they've never seen somebody as your gender or somebody like you uh, as an equal before. And they really feel like you're an equal. And they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't see that. And that's kind of the obstacle in the way. It's not really your obstacle. It's more like their obstacle that they didn't see it. Um, but it's causing a problem because, you know, guilt can really kind of hold someone back. You know? Anyway, um, the thing that's helping you, though, is that it, they're going to act like an air sign. Um, so whether they're an air sign or not, is they're going to act like an air sign and come in. So the, the, the king of swords is they're ambitious about this. They've, they've thought long and hard about it. Um, and they feel like going towards you is the right decision. Uh, and they want to take charge and going towards you makes them feel more powerful. They may even come in seductively. Uh, whatever it is, is they, they're going to come in really strong, um, because they saved money, uh, they have dealt with the problems on their side of control and the greed on their side and all of those things. Now, they may come in self-protected as well because this is a protection card. So even though they're taking charge and they're ambitious and they're seductive, like they want you in that way, um, for some of you guys who it's not a love, it's just a relationship, they're just going to come in really powerful, okay? But for those people who is loved, they want to be with you. Like, they, that's part of the reason why they're coming in. Like, they really find you attractive, <laughs> you know, so, uh, but they may come in very protective and kind of guarded and that's okay. Cause I feel like you might be that as well. And so I think it's fine. Um, the potential outcome. So that means that if they do come in, if they don't like, they're not the 10% who uses their free will to screw this up, then, um, and they are the 90% that are coming in, then, uh, the potential outcome is the page of swords with the 10 of cups. So the page of swords is um, a soul contract is going to be fulfilled. Okay. This is, they'll bring in the information that you need uh, and they are coming to cut things out that they, I mean, you know, to, to cut those mistakes out. You know what I mean? It's here to make amends. Um, swords are like how you're going to think about it, what your mind does to this. And so it's like literally your mind going into happiness. And just because this person is here, I mean, the 10 of cups is gorgeous card. It is like inner happiness, your dreams coming true. You're going to feel fulfilled, you know, anything that was shattered before. It's like this sword is going to, I'm, I'm just seeing like an image of like, peanut butter with a knife, you know, like pasting it together or something like whatever shattered is going to be able to be pasted back together, amended, fixed. Um, and just, um, yeah, you guys are going to get some great personal closures from this. It's going to be beautiful. So good. Let's read these cards. Wow. Pisces, that is awesome. I'm so proud of you. I know you've waited a long time for this reunion. For those of you who have one coming in, I can't wait to hear your experiences. Um, and I hope the retrograde treats you really well. Um, I hope you don't, don't have to cry as much as I just did for the past couple of days, okay? <laughs> All right, so you've had a lot of patience with this. You felt conflict and very defeated over this issue with this person. Um, you have felt intuitively the truth, but you have not yet been told the truth. Uh, and, you know, that you have helped this person see the truth. And this person went into solitude to really understand themselves. And you helped this person, like your relationship with this person, helped this person grow and expand and open their eyes. Like, oh my gosh, how did I not see this, right? It's a definitely a positive movement forward with this person. And the universe it has, has 
created the atmosphere for this to come back together. They really want this to balance, okay? This person has been living in discontentment and boredom, and you were their light, okay? Um, and now their passion is ignited, and they're moving towards you. They have made the choice and the decision. They once were trapped in fear, but now they're ready to uh, achieve, okay? Achieve um, something that they lost, something that they have heartache and loss and they long for. They're ready to come get their happiness. Uh, so that is just gorgeous and beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and you're the last sign. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these love cards real quick. And just see what we're dealing with here. What are we dealing with here? <laughs> like I said, it could just be like a friendship. Uh, it, you know, it doesn't have to be all like romantic. But um, some of you guys, this is romance. Some of you guys, this is your next lover. You know, some of you guys, this is the this is your person. Um, so playfulness. So laughter is the best therapy. So when they come in, they may come in kind of like, um, uh, protective and just, you know, like laugh and have fun, have fun. That's how they remember you anyway. This is very, for those of you who have romance, this is really romantic. Okay. I mean, you're going to look back on this one day and be like, oh my gosh, that was so hot. <laughs> Um, tell yourself, close your eyes and tell yourself you deserve to feel joy. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change something which is beyond our control. So basically you're going to have to wait for this person. Okay. And it's up to them. It's part of their soul journey. Okay. Um, Let's get some Oracle Hidden Truth cards real quick, and then we'll close out your reading. I mean, because it's it, there is love in here. Love is in the air. <laughs> All right. All right. You were the best thing in my life. You speak to me through music. I bury myself in work to forget you. You and I were too young. And I want to feel that way again. This person doesn't react when people mention your name because they want to keep you a secret. And part of the reason why they haven't come forward is because you are their secret love. Right? My secret love. <laughs> right? Two hearts, two hearts that beat as one. That's not even it, but those are the words to a different part of the song. I get that for those of you guys who know the song. I just don't remember the words. So, <laughs> I don't even remember what song that is. It's from the 80s sometime. Anyway, if you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. On the screen is a suggested video, and I cannot wait to see you at the next reading. Bye!